Yep, yep, yep. What's up? What's up? I hope y'all can hear me out there. He requested me to talk about this artist from North London in the UK called Lil Sims. Never heard of her though. Um and so I didn't really know what to expect. And then I looked at the album, it was like nineteen joints. And I was like, holy shit. But a lot of them is just uh interludes, which I do believe the woman that plays in um The Crown as Princess Diana is doing the voiceovers or something like that. It's pretty dope, you know, and um this is like her fourth studio album. Whew. I mean, it's not bad though. You know what I mean? It's it's different, definitely some different. I'm not really used to like UK type you know, artists and everything like that. She's a great lyricist. Um, I did enjoy most, a few of her songs. I'm not going to say a few, like at least, I think it was like nine songs I enjoy for the content, you know what I mean? But for what I can understand about the album, that's a lot about motivation, her community, her family. I love that song about her dad, though. Like, and that's beautiful. Her doubts, her confidences, you know what I mean? Or confidence, if you want to call it that. Women empowerment. You know, so I definitely got a lot of things out of the album and the production with the samples, crazy. One of the joints had like an 80s vibe to it. I was a grooving like, hey, shit kind of hard though. You know what I mean? <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So the first track, Introvert, I ended up hearing that song because I kept seeing on Twitter one day that um, she was trending though for whatever reason, you know, and I was just like, oh, okay. So let me just go check out, um, I don't know, see if I can find somebody that actually reviewed the project. It ended up being... What's little bro name? Mr. 2K God. I guess he ordered the album. And I was like, oh, good. This is the album that they were talking about on Twitter. So let me see what it sounded like. That first track he put on? Crazy. I instantly went to see if it had a video. It had a video to it. So I watched the video. That song is fire. I love the beat. I love the sample. I love her flow. It gave me that Kanye vibe. Like when he was doing My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. I'm like, damn, for Kanye to want to sign artists and shit, why he ain't never discovered her? Like, she fire. Like, that's just a whole, like, just the visuals and the, the, the blackness of it all. It, it was just dope. You know what I mean? So I fuck with that record. I already heard it. Um, but yeah, I like um, the woman joint featuring Cleo. So, you know, like I said, women empowerment, very soulful. That, yeah, that shit was, <laughs> that was kind of amazing. Uh Two Worlds Apart, I like I like that song, I like that sample, you know, I Love You, I Hate You, of course, like I said, Standing Ovation was another one, Rolling Stone, Protect My Energy, How Did You Get Here, and Misunderstood, uh, those are the songs that I definitely enjoyed, um, I didn't mind the rest of the songs, you know, but it just, you know, wasn't my cup of tea, like my first time listening to a, um, a UK artist, though, you know what I mean, Interludes was dope, you know, I will uh, say that much, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's cool. You know what I mean? She can spit. She can rap. I won't take nothing from her. Like, she can do R&B type songs. She can rap. She can, you know, use her voice in a certain manner. The instrumentation she chose with that producer she used was amazing. So I'm not saying it's, it's bad on any type of way or any, any type of way, excuse me. But it's just not my cup of tea. You know what I mean? But the songs that I did fuck with, definitely going to go back to them. You know, and I was just like, oh, shit. She's beautiful, though. Like, that's one thing I kept noticing about her. I was just like, man, she fine as hell. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, she's a very beautiful woman. You know, and I just, I had to watch that video, like, more than once. Like, the introvert video, it just, I didn't care if she had other videos. I was just, that song in itself, you know what I mean? The actual word introvert. So it's just like the duality of it all, how, you know, she was able to convey that from her being the artist and her being you know, who she is with her real name, you know what I mean, separating the two. I thought that was pretty dope as well, though. I think a lot of artists probably go through that, too. Like, when they step off stage, you know, I'm Jermaine Cole, but on stage, he's J. Cole. You see what I'm saying? Well, a lot of artists go through that, and I figured, like, in here, within this album, you definitely can sense that. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of her. I just discovered her maybe a few weeks ago, so I'm quite sure there's people out there that did reviews on her or know her or more familiar with her music than I am, so you don't gotta bash me. This was just somebody requested me to listen to a project, check it out. Mind you, it was a hell of a weekend, drinking, kinda had a slight hangover, so it took me till now to do the shit, you know, Halloween, but I don't really see nobody doing shit today, whatever the case may be, but yeah, man, it's, this was a difficult couple of days though, to, you know, get through this shit, because most albums, they are longer, but they're shorter at the same time if you get what I'm saying they could say 30 fucking songs but each song is probably a minute and five seconds of shit you know what I'm saying so 
at the end of the day, this was very tough. You know, I I can't say I didn't want to do it. I was intrigued by just the first record, so I definitely knew I was going to do it. But I definitely say this has a uh, potential for me to run it back. You know, those nine songs I mess with, they are going in my playlist. Because I didn't think I was going to like any of this shit to keep it 100 with y'all. Yeah, I was just like, I don't really fuck with UK artists. I don't even fuck with it when Drake put them niggas on, you know what I mean? his albums and shit or that UK drill shit people seem to be fucking with it but not me it's like I ain't hating or nothing like that it just, it just ain't my cup of tea so but the songs that I fuck with because of the song message behind them yeah they definitely going in the playlist like I could just you know I don't have a problem with female rappers y'all know that as long as they can rap and not biting on some dumb shit and just throwing names in a song just to go trending but motherfuckers are making fun of you you dig but God, that's a, a fucking horrible song. I don't... Anyway, but yeah, Carisha, a fool for that. But yeah, Lil Sims, sometimes I might be introvert. It's solid. It's definitely solid. I see a lot of uh, reviews of people, you know, writing well, when it came out or whatever. A lot of solid tens on this joint. Like, you know what I mean? From an artistic way of looking at it. Yeah, it deserves it. Just from just the production alone, I was just like, this is something different. It's like it's it, it's captivating as soon as you like press play though you know you intrigued to keep going the interludes is kind of the, the best part but i couldn't get into them but i understand why people it fits into the story it definitely feel like it's a story here i could be wrong like i said i don't know nothing about her music like that but it just feels like some form of story that is you know telling and it's pretty it's dope i i, I could just say it's dope but i don't want to keep chatting on make a long ass video Lil sims sometime i might be introvert I fuck with it. It's a go. Shout out to y'all for listening. If y'all did listen. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Ah, I'm, <laughs> I'm still hung over my fault. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. But I will say, Wale album is fire. Ransom and Rome Street, new album is fire. Um, Thug shit was cool too. Um, even Meek, some of his album made the playlist. But th yeah, that's whatever. Who cares about that shit? But yeah, man. So y'all, thanks for listening. I appreciate it. And yeah, I hope you're having a happy, safe Halloween. One.